Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we got something really special. Uh, Mike from Holiday Rambler is going to take us around one of these brand new units that, I mean, we saw this unit at Toppers. Mike was there actually, and uh, we didn't have time at Toppers to do the walk around, but Mike's agreed to do this walk around. We're at the FMCA rally. It's been awesome. We got beautiful weather. It's actually a little warm today. And um, so, you know, let's get with it. So stick around. Hey, I'm Mike with Holiday Rambler, as Tom said. So we got a brand new product here. This is the Nautica 33 TL. The Nautica is built on the Delta Foundation. That is a Freightliner XCR chassis. So it's a raised rail chassis. Delta Foundation is what we brand our part that we add to that. It's given us tremendous amount of storage. This product is an all electric coach. So there's no propane on board. You get the Aquahot 250. We'll walk down the exterior and check out some of these features. So you got the nice thickens full body paint extremely high storage best thing i like about it is these french style doors we actually had an eight foot kayak setting in one of these and it really you know shows how much storage that's you have. awesome that's awesome we can opt in to have a pull out slide tray here if we need to or if you prefer that as we move back we have again more storage looks like somebody's adopted this storage <laughs> that's all gear right. locker The Nautica's come with four floor plans. We see here we got the 33TL, the 34RX, 35MS, and 35QZ. So these are coming up to 190 cubic feet of basement storage. That's, that's very impressive. How long is this model actually? Uh, this is probably gonna be coming in around that 35. We can pop up the exact length. Um, I can get that for you, but it's gonna probably be around that 35 tip to tip. Okay. So, Coming back again, now since we're using Freightliner, we're getting all of their components. So this does have V-Ride on it. It's really going to stable up your unit. When you back out of uneven driveways or something, you don't have all that rocking. You may yeah. come off center a little bit and you come right back. It really stabilizes your unit. We got our electrical component, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's pure sine. Everything's going to be safe. We have our solar controller right in here and just all of our modules for our slide out boxes and things like that. But last compartment, we have our def, our diesel exhaust. And also that this would be your hydraulic uh, fluid for your hydraulics and it's easy Correct. to get to. Easy, yep. Very true. On back, Nautica has a 10,000 pound hitch. We have the 340 XCR, four house batteries. They're six volt house batteries wired in series and parallel and two starting batteries, 13 gallon depth tank and our 50 amp power cord reel. And it's an electric power cord reel. Correct, manual out, electric in. It's nice, you know, you get up in the morning, everything's all dewy on the ground, just press the button, it reels it in, you stay clean. We have our wash down bay. Another good thing about Holiday Rambler, we have the exclusive wedge tanks. What that's doing is making that black tank so much easier to drain and clean out. You think about it, it's always a pain getting everything out of your black tank. Yeah. But with it being wedged like that, everything funnels to the bottom and it leans towards the drain. Very simple to clean out. We have our exterior sensors. You don't have to worry about any debris getting hung up on them, giving you false readings. Whole house filter. Great, we recommend you change that every 8,000 gallons. Yeah, easy to access too. Very easy. Very nice laid out, low point drains. Everything is right here conveniently located. Yeah, that's nice. And back to that monstrous storage compartment here. Full pass through. And again, if you choose, we can get that 90 inch slide tray. And you give people some extra floor tiles. Oh yes, this is all Tarkat flooring. It's all composite. We'll be able to get a good look at that when we jump inside. No Luon on it. And while we're on there, if you don't mind, Tom, um, there's no Luon on the back of these walls. This is solid fiberglass walls. There's a lot of people out there still put Luon or Asdale. That's another, it's an opportunity for a D-Lam. So we used to do that until year 2000. After 2000, we're like, we got to figure out a better way. So we went to an ultra thick piece of fiberglass right onto our aluminum frame, oh, high wow. density bead foam. So you'd never have to worry about a D-Lam due to 
Luan or that's pretty awesome yeah it's a great feature but here's a, another huge feature on the Nautica at this price point and you're getting an Aquahot 250D I totally here. agree I couldn't believe at this price point that y'all were offering me. I've heard many customers while we're here um, down in Georgia say once you go to an Aquahot you don't go back so you got full unlimited hot water plus nice cool moist heat no pulling the uh, humidity out of the air and again an easy way to add fluid and stuff in there it's very uh, convenient to be Expansion able to do it. tanks right there correct very easy maintenance too fuel filter nozzle every year about all you got to worry about and our last one is just another storage we have an external air chuck up there if you need to blow up any toys blow out the luggage compartments whatever you need to do emergency chuck if you need to get air to your bags for some reason and our windshield wiper fluid so you could fill it right here right you don't there. have to open up the no. front nope it's right here that's that's a, a big plus right there <laughs> <laughs> another one all the cameras are integrated at the top of the mirror we want to keep that up high as off the splat or out of the splash zone high as possible when you get some that are lower lower down here they get loaded up with road grime and then it becomes a safety because I, you can't I see can personally out say we've had that issue yeah. with ours because our cameras are lower mm -hmm. and sometimes it's so foggy to see down them i have to clean them okay yeah so some we have we have some are down lower in our um mirrors but nautica has them way up top even yeah so. It's top nice. mounted windshield wipers now oh my god now we're working with gravity so we just went to that that's new and like, that's great unless you have to change that blade <laughs> yeah. well hopefully we ain't got to change the blade quite often yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's jump aside look at some of those features so coming inside first thing you see is the that white wood this is the fossil wood makes this unit look so much larger and in the 33 tl this is a 100% flat floor. We have no step up over an engine compartment. Makes it nice when you know you get up in the morning, go into the restroom, or you need to go get something out of the refrigerator. You don't have that uh, That's nice. step up there. <laughs> up here in the dash, we have the OptiView digital dash. They took all the keys out for the show, so we can't illuminate that for you. But what I really like about all the holiday, most of Holiday Rambler dashes is we have dual monitors. That's a big safety thing. You know, if we're in downtown and traffic's crazy you got to make your turn well with some of them you have to pick if you want your cameras displayed or your navigation displayed with the nautica we have our navigation over here still while having our cameras available up front we have the mobile eye that does our collision mitigation speed zones uh, watches for pedestrians all of that stuff it's fully customizable to uh however you feel comfortable driving again for this price of coach that is amazing Correct, yep. It's all, we packaged a lot of features in this coach to get that name out there. It's a new product. But moving back, we got theater seating in the living area, directly across from the opposing dinette. That does drop down for additional sleeping as well. It's jackknifing, so everything's self-contained. You don't have to worry about getting other pillows or cushions or anything out of the closets. It's all right there. It happens in the matter of is there, is So, and these lay pretty flat too, yep, I guess. Yep, we, well, we ain't got no power, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah zero proximity, so they will lay back almost flat. Storage in the middle, that's an option. Standard is going to be a, a regular jackknifing sofa, but we do have the theater seating as an option. Um, 13 by 60 window, dual shades. We've got our TV located above it. Cool thing about the TV, too, we have this little camera selector button underneath here. As soon as we press that camera selector button, it'll display all of our cameras around our motorhome. So it kind of turns it into a little a security system, yes, if you would. Yes, for sure. That's nice. You can, that's nice to know where everybody is around your oh, coach. Oh, yeah. Yep, definitely. Um, the 33TL has dual fireplaces. It has one in the bedroom and it has one out here. <laughs> so um, reduced it about six inches coming out of the wall. That puts out 5,300 BTUs of heat. So we can heat this unit with the campgrounds electricity. Don't even have to use that propane. Or well, this one there is no propane. Don't even have to use that diesel. But sliding back a little farther, solid surface galley top, induction cooktop, convection microwave, and a nice farm style stainless steel sink. That is nice. Picture box windows. Uh, we've been doing that a lot. Really lets a lot of ambient light into the coach. Again, making it look bigger. But here's a feature that I like on the Nautica. We do this in some other products as well, but it's our multiplex system. We can come here, so it's one convenient spot to check our tanks, run our slide outs out, 
set your HVAC, auto gen start, all of your lights, everything can be done from right here. And the cool thing is, everybody's got a smart device with them these days. We can pair this to our smart device on our cell phone. You back into the campsite, we can run our slide out boxes out while we're on the other side and seeing where the trees are. Make sure we have that space. That's so convenient. It, Very nice. Same with the patio. We don't want to run that into a tree so you can be out there as you're operating it. Okay. Got a fiberglass shower in the bathroom. All porcelain toilets. We don't use no ABS at all. No ABS showers. Um, tremendous amount of storage in that bathroom. Here, let me pull some of it open. Yep. Oh my gosh, yes. So Stacy can get in here and get that. We want the 360 window treatment. So that's going to be throughout the product. There's a lot of 360 giving it a high end look coming around. Residential refrigerator. Again, we got the four house batteries. So we got the solar panel up top, auto gen start. So everything's going to the residential, get the larger refrigerators in. We have plenty of power to handle that. Pocket doors gives us full access when this is closed up as well, as far as getting back here to our bed. 110 USB ports on both of the nightstands. And directly above, we have a cabinet that's prepped for a CPAP. As soon as you turn it on, lights come on automatically. We have our 110 hookups, and right behind it, we have a we have a hole cut out so you can run your hoses through it. So that way, your CPAP's tucked away, out of sight. Plus, we still have the make them usable. Then, full hanging wardrobe on the rear of the coach and a stackable washer and dryer is optional it comes standard from the factory prep so you can put a washer and dryer in it if you choose and look how many drawers we have here there's eight full pull out drawers a whole drawer full of remotes when you get this <laughs> and our second fireplace again 5300 btus of heat the whole opposing wall from the bed is windows so it gives you a great view outside TV's on a televator. When you want that view, we just run this down, get the TV out of the way. That's awesome. Well, thanks, Mike, for running us through. Hey, no problem, Tom. We appreciate you guys coming down here. It was good meeting you in, uh, down there at Toppers as well. Yeah, and, you know, if y'all like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, we'll put a link to the Holiday Rambler page so people can see this, okay. all the Nautica line. And, uh, yeah, until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.